Bert's pumping bilges out. We got a lot of rainwater in here. We're definitely going to have to work on our gasketing around this hatch. It blew in like nothing else. This is where the water drains in, and we got to come up with a better seal to go around this shaft in here. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but it goes. This shaft sits on the deck on the other side. Well, the clay works great. Now. Over here, there's just no clearance between the bottom of that and the deck, so I'm not sure. Maybe maybe we waddle it out a little bit and put a piece of hose back through there and just let it run through a chunk of hose. Yeah, mine's dull. Martin's first use of a Japanese saw. Heads up, Bart! Alright. So we need a way to lock it open and lock it shut, so that's it. Chain locks in. Yeah, we put a hanger back in there for it. Beautiful. Okay, that's perfect, Bart. Rain's coming, but we're gonna try to push the main hatch a little further along anyway. So we got some things to do to it. Chris knows that was about to break off. Beautiful. Put a little tack in it and then uh, bend it around where we want it. Now here's a tip that people give me all the time that I've, I've never used yet. Uh, but you put your uh, anti-spatter gel or your welder nozzle on a bolt and that keeps the, uh, the weld from sticking to it. Give it a try. Okay, that did not have the intended effect because there's some spatter that's stuck to it anyway. So, that's not such a great idea. I'm gonna go back wrapping it with tape. Yeah, see there's oil here. I Empty space in a shop, what an amazing rare thing to see, you know? And this is why we got our CNC table outside heading off to Lorenzo. Lorenzo's got to build us a small one for the boat. in complexity with engineering it and is. I am all for that that is just a brilliant idea so yeah. you don't need to over complicate it okay <laughs> this glue is not really glue for the first part of it there you go and it's not an old thing they were doing that to begin with Peeled off of it there. Oh, I feel like Steve on Acorn to Arabella. There it comes. The hollow sound that you get yeah, from. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't. It make you. It's <laughs> like you know. It's like solid. Whole different yeah. friggin' world. That's a different sound. Now that's got us too. That this is insulated too. <laughs> Forward cam is clear. Oh yeah, this this one hasn't been insulated, has it? Yeah, there's what we're used to. Whoop! 
spot. <laughs> right on there. Here. Look at Oh, gee, yeah, after you stuck it in your <laughs> fucking eye, yeah. That boom. boom. <laughs> Never give it up again. <laughs> oh, that didn't That'd be right. terrible. That didn't come out right. <laughs> I think it's going to be perfect for sealing it. Oh, that is just gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. Yeah, all the bolt's supposed to do is just keep the bush. Look at that purple snail. Yeah, go ahead, try it open. Oh, you're going to have to do that every once in a while. Oh, yeah, I think it'd just be a once a week deal. No, yeah, maintenance situation. How's that? Oh, well, that loosened up. It's getting better? Yeah. Good. Not too loose. Hey, bye, Bart. Bye, Bart. <laughs> Cool. Wow, look at that. I think we got it, dude. Okay, the next thing we need to do is do something about these little things. Just shove some clay in here to stop water from flowing in, but we need a decent gasket around this. And the other thing that's not obvious is that this deck is built as a water catchment, so this rim here holds water back. So I need the water to be able to flow past this, so building something on and out it blocks that uh, wouldn't be helpful. I could put two drains here and take it on down below, but that would be more than just putting a gasket and letting the water have a little bit of room to go by. I gotta say that the clay made a wonderful temporary gasket. I'm gonna try using this silicone rubber molding compound from uh, Smooth On. All we did is we welded sockets onto this thing so we can put a handle on it. And I want something that I can turn out here. It'd be easier, a little more leverage than eight inches. And I'm gonna clean up that clay. So uh, oil-based clay, so I'm gonna degreaser, I think, will help it out. They said a sulfur-based uh, clay would actually react with the silicone to keep it from hardening up. This is an oil-based clay, but just the same. See why pig is so seductive, you can get a real pretty weld in, it's really small. But man, I sure wouldn't want to be welding a boat together like this. Well, you wouldn't do that with a MIG welder, that's for sure. Pig does have its place. My neighbor's delivering steel. Normally they just come out the back gate. A spray of mold release. Grease would probably work too, but it may react with the silicone, so I'm gonna use this. Clay doesn't like sticking to the mold release. Uh, don't go down on the other side, just go down this side. Ah. Making a mess. I don't want to take the hatch off to put this stuff in. So. Made us a little feeder ramp. I'll come back to that too. So we put a little heat on them and maybe that will speed it up. We have rain coming tonight, so we're in a race. Yay. I don't want to put a shit in this thing. I may have to get a wobble head. Okay, it's turning. 
Good. Let's see if we didn't mess up the other side. All right, this one looks good too. Excellent. I think that's going to work. We just got to wait for a rainstorm to see if it's really going to work. And once we let the decks drain, it won't be that big a deal. Right now, we're, we got our plugs that um, let the water stand up on this rather than draining off to anywhere. And so there's been water standing against these. But uh, a little leaking through, you know, I don't care, it's a boat. But I don't want to pour it down through there like it was. Ooh. Is that how you make a pretty well? Slow, but pretty. And thank you very much to all of our new patrons. We appreciate the support. If you'd like to join us, there's a link below. And we've got some new challenge coins out. We've added four boats. Just take a look at the SB Seeker store, you'll see who's on it.